Hello everyone, this is Anitra from I Spy Queens. I am currently on vacation, so you will be watching a pre-recorded video starting in about 2.5 seconds. Everything will be back to normal next week um, for the $2 Tuesday and the Fine Wine Wednesday. So, be there, be square. Here's the video. I Spy. I Spy. I spy with my little eye. Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of I Spy Queens. I'm Cindy. And I'm Anitra. And, and together, together we are I Spy Queens. Queens. Hello, 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 you guys. Excuse the noise. Every time we come out here, somebody decides they want to cut their grass or the dogs over there um, having a fit. Or they want to be screaming and yelling. <laughs> right. Yo, so we got to make it do what it do. Me and Cindy are part-time resellers, you guys, and we also have a booth at an antique mall. So most of the things you'll see in our videos that we do will be things that we put into our antique booth, but if you would like them, you are welcome to purchase them as well. Please check the description. Our phone number is in there so we can be reached, or you can, if you can't text us, please send us an email and make sure you note it as queen and then say what you got to say so we can find them. You guys, I absolutely hate emails. I hate them with a passion. Um, but I got to do what I got to do. But, again, please check out the description. Everything you need is in there for you. So we appreciate that. Um, please go check us out on Instagram at i.spyqueens as well. And we're going to get into it. Oh, please be on the lookout for our auction for Friday and for the new people who have joined um, the I Spy crew, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. We appreciate you. Um, we're going to do a $2 Tuesday every Tuesday at 720. We're going to put it as that because we always late when we try to do 7 o'clock. So Tuesdays is always going to be $2 Tuesday. We're going to do $2 pieces and $2 start bids. Wednesday is our Fine Wine Wednesday where we normally show fine jewelry inside of a wine glass and then we have an extra jewelry wine a wine glass full that we would like to auction so be on the lookout for that those will be the, at the same times and what else yeah that's about it okay you guys i have a jewelry jar for you today i got this jewelry jar at the goodwill believe it or not out in erie pennsylvania i went to go meet my daughter over the weekend to drop my granddaughter off and my husband spotted this jar, which I don't normally care for their jewelry jars because most of them in there to me seem like it's all costume jewelry inside. So let's see what we find in here. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> and you're not used to me sitting on this side. No. <laughs> That's almost killing me over there. Right, trying to cook you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty. Oh, this is pretty. We have, oh, and it's missing some stones. Jeez, look at that. That is beautiful, but it's missing stones. But see what I'll do. You guys, I got to show you what I've been working on. I've been working on making a crown. So far, it's almost done. So what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna take this apart and you guys are gonna see what craftiness I can do. So we have that. So we have that. Next we have a long blue crystal. Um Almost like a double layer, but it's not. I'm going to double it so I can show you guys. Silver tone with these pretty blue beads and disco ball beads. <clears throat> so we have that and this will probably go in the craft pile. Oh, here's my jewelry for today. I have a natural stone bracelet. I forgot what the stones are called. <laughs> and a stretchy ring. In my other hand okay next we have a 
a lot of double layers in Yeah, here. I believe a lot of this stuff is going to go into the craft lot. Um, here's a butterfly. And if you guys are interested in the craft lots, all the stuff I, uh, we put in there is a dollar. And we also have big, gigantic craft bags for sale. And they are, some of them start at 25 and some of them are at 40 We have a 17-pound one. That one's 40 bucks. And we have, I want to say, a 7 or 8-pounder for 25 One of the two. Just hit us up. Let me have that. I think this will go in a craft lot as well. Next, we have a gold tone, like an antique gold tone type chain. And I probably will keep these because they come in handy when people want longer chains. And I normally give them to them free. Like whatever chain they purchase if they want it long. It's got um, a little wear on the big old lobster claw clasp. But that's an easy fix to take that off. But the chain itself honestly looks pretty good. So we have that. Next, we have a, on like a leather rope cord, and this one has a lot of wear, silver tone, the cord looks good, but this will probably go into the craft line. I am sure of it. Sure of it. Oh, next we have this pretty, um, two layer. Oh, look at the beads on this. This almost looks like we had one of these before. Mm -hmm. Crystals. I think it was different colors. Yeah, this one's pretty though. So we have that. It looked like it got some wear on these beads right here. Like they should have been gold tone. But all in all, I think if you wear it, you wouldn't even notice all that. But these are pretty. Yeah, a lot of this stuff to me looks like it's going straight in the craft lot. We have this gold, silver tone, supposedly with pearls. This will definitely go in the craft lot. It got a lot of wear to it. Yeah, that's why when I go, I don't really buy jars down there. I normally pick out pieces that I would like. And that is not very much. <laughs> Gold tone chain. This is a pretty one. Lobster claw clasp. Lobster claw clasp. And look how this one is made, you guys. You see, look at that. That's cute. Now we're getting the sun. We're getting the sun. Tangos. Tango, tango, tangos. I think it's three, three necklaces. Tango yes, it necklaces. is. Three of them. That's all you. I tried. Yep, I got it really quick. <laughs> I love tangos. I don't have patience. I love tangos. Give me a, a bowl of earrings over a bowl of tangos. Oh, we're going to do that live because we have... I found a canister full, and it's some beautiful earrings in there. And speaking of that, um, Designs and Do-Overs have a single earring group that we re recently joined that I want to put some earrings onto that and see if maybe we can find some matches. Okay, now, now this is what gets me going when I love tangles but I don't like it when something is like it's got its own okay there we go it worked it on its own stuff out this is a pretty like a mint green and turquoise color necklace um and it's a Charming Charlie. It's in okay condition. I think I will put this in the craft lot as well. Okay, yeah, craft lot. 
Next we have, I think we had something similar to this too. You guys, I'm pretty good with um, remembering jewelry pieces. These are glass little beads. They almost look like tiger's eye on a kind of like an antique gold tone. Maybe it faded out. I'm not even sure. But this one says, let's see. <laughs> this is the newest edition. Let's see. Yeah, it works, buddy. What is this? I think it says Monet. Uh, come on. Yeah, Monet. I never knew that. Okay, so we have that. Next, we have a little silver tone. It's broken. I think it was an ankle bracelet or a bracelet. It doesn't have a closure piece. Maybe it was on to a necklace. So craft lock. Hey, I am tingling. Cool. We have a little dainty little silver tone necklace with little red looking beads on there. Yes. I don't know if this is fuzzy or not. We have that. Next we have, this is pretty. I like this one. Where are you open it up at? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, this one is pretty. Wooden with turquoise color beads. Look at that. That is pretty with wooden beads. This is different. I like this. This will definitely be a favorite for me. Silver tone ringlets. Yeah, that's cute. It's a nice little colorful statement piece. It also look good in your hair, too. <laughs> so that is a favorite. Oh, I didn't, yeah, nope. Nope, I untangled the one out of there. And here's a silver tone heart. This will go in the craft lot. Oh, the sun is coming out, you guys. Cooking my feet. Oh, come on. Focus, focus, focus. So we have that. This will definitely go in a craft lot. We have another little dainty silver tone. I think this is like a stone cross. I don't think it's real or the chain's, you know, the chain's magnetic right away. Hello. Next, we have a silver tone in very good condition, dainty little gold tone necklace with pearls, fake pearls, and little glass beads on here. And this one says it's a 1928. We have that. Next, we have a plain silver tone chain which I think is going into the craft lot next we have yeah I did not care for this jar too much um this pretty it's I had a bracelet like this color and a crystal almost looked like goes on a chandelier Silver tone. This will go in a craft lot as well. Next, we have a glass beads, pretty purple, clear. Um, it's got lavender. It's got like a grapeish tone color. Silver beads. Now, how you open this one? This must got a hide. It's got to have a class. This is hide, a hideaway. Oh, it's stretchy. That's why it's a stretchy one, you guys. 
So you just stretch it over your head. Cool. So we have that. Oh, I thought we was about done. You had that stuff up there on the table. I was like, oh, we, that was fast. <laughs> we have a glass beads. This is a weird one. This is a vintage one, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is a vintage one. It's got verdigris in there and everything, but I would probably take all of this, this out of there and the pearls and just keep this pearl. It's pretty. It looks like it's old and then it's got that hook clasp. We have that. I think I'll put this in the craft lock. Um, next we have pearls. Um, I wrapped this three times, you guys. Silver tone, I mean, no, gold tone, black, and pearls. And this will go in the craft lock. It's very long, very, very long. Next, we have, I don't know what this is. Silver tone, wooden beads, craft lot. Craft lot. Come on, focus. A cute little, dainty little gold tone necklace. This looks like this is in very good condition. We need necklaces because we have a lot of pendants with no necklace. That's a cute one. Cute, cute, cute. Um, we have a Claire's piece. We'll go into the craft lot. Craft lot. Claire's you guys honestly Claire's do be having some nice pieces that was not one of them I mean it was nice at its one point but it's got wear a lot of wear plastic beads this will definitely go in the craft lot or you know what this might go in a kids lot because the kid can play with these and the colors on them it's pretty 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 Next we have, oh, this is cute. <laughs> Look at this, you guys, but it's missing some stuff. Uh, Christmas ornaments. Cute little necklace, gold tone. But it will go into the craft lot. Craft lot. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully good. We have another one. Glass beads. Whisk seem like to be precious stone chips oh that's a cute one it's kind of like a choker style uh, um lobster claw clasp on a gun metal tone We have a, uh, one, two, three, four, kind of like a four layer necklace. I don't even know, but pretty disco ball beads on them. Silver tone. I like the shiny black ones. These are nice too. These are definitely nice. Plastic. Um, the, it's in pretty good condition, honestly. Just need a little bit of a bath. But it looks like it's don't have no wear on it. So that's cute. I think the best thing that's coming out of this jar to me is some of these, these chains that don't have anything. I know. We have a sea bead um, double layer. I don't know how this go. 
if they made this crooked. But it will go into the craft fly. We have a brooch, blue enamel and white enamel. It looks like it's in very good condition. And there's the back of it. That's a shade for me. Um, we have this disco ball, black, gun metal tone, necklace, a little dainty necklace. And I think it's going in the craft lot. I think it's broken. Yeah, it's broken. It's supposed to have been hooked here. Yeah, it's broken. A little gold tone, dainty one. It will go on the craft fly. It has a lot of wear. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye now. We have another piece that will go into the craft lot. It's got a tassel on it. Yeah, it will go into the craft lot. Another pretty gold tone chain. Um, it says I can't read what it says on it, but it's going to craft lot. It's got somewhere. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. a little cute little choker, CB and gold tone. It's going into the craft lot as well. Oh, this whole thing is a craft lot, pretty much. We have a bracelet with a key and a heart and a, what is it called? What is it, a Florida Lee type of thing almost? Mm -hmm. And a flower and it's going into the craft lot. A lot of double layers. Craft lot as well. Okay. Had to grab a sip. Next we have, ooh, this is cute. A Christian piece. And I think it's an Avon because it's got S A G on it. That's pretty. But it got some wear on it right there. The chain looks good, so we'll put this in a craft lot as well. We have another little dainty little necklace, and this will go in a craft lot too. You guys, our craft lots at our antique booth sell like crazy. Thank God. <laughs> Because we do not want to throw the stuff in the garbage to fill up the landmines. Somebody can maybe do something cool with it. This is a nice plain chain with nowhere. I doubled it. So we will definitely enjoy this one. Finding a pendant for it. And we have that. I think that might be the chain. And a snowflake. Which will probably go in the craft lot. And the chain for this one. So craft lot. We got a couple more pieces, you guys, and we will have conquered this Erie, Pennsylvania $19.99 jar that was full of mostly craft. They should have put that on there. <laughs> this is a cute little dainty necklace. It has a horseshoe and a little crystal right here oh and it's not well that ringlet on it is but and the horseshoe is 
I'm sure it's not silver. But it will go into the craft lots. Craft lot. A nice another chain. A nice another chain. Um, there is no opening on it. So this will go in a craft lot. No clasp for it. So I don't know how somebody will put this on. Let's say they wrap it around. I don't know if it fit over most heads. Maybe they can wrap it around a bunch of times if your ink, uh, wrists are small to make it a bracelet. So craft lot. Craft lot, craft lot, craft lot. A choker, suave tone, craft lot. This one is cute, but craft lot. Um, I don't know. I think this is an ankle bracelet. It's pretty. Little auburn stones on it. I think this is an ankle bracelet, you guys. Really no. Really maybe. Maybe, maybe. Craft lock. Oh, come on. Craft lock. <laughs> Pink shinies. Oh my god, they sparkling. Ooh. Like the blind man. Craft lock. Ooh, a nice little cute gold tone little tennis bracelet. It's magnetic, but it's cute. It's cute. So, um, hearts and crystals, wear and craft lock. Um, uh, yeah, all of this is going in the craft lock. <laughs> this one is from Claire's. It's got Back wear. The craft lot. Craft lots. <laughs> Gold tone chain at one point. Craft lots. <laughs> and this seems like this is in a good condition. <laughs> yeah, craft lot for that one as well. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um. <laughs> We're going to show you what our favorites was, which was not many, but I like this. I like this one. You know what? I'm not going to even put it on that. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. We are back. We didn't have a lot of favorites, but this is what we did find that we liked it. So let me know if you guys had a favorite or not. Again, go check us out or on Instagram at i.spotqueens. And check out the description. Attend, until then, you guys, please stay safe. Stay blessed. Always check on your friends, family, and neighbors. Stay kind and courteous to one another. And always, please remember to keep it real. Until then, I Spy Queens out. Bye-bye. I Spy. I Spy.